So here we are now this morning in our live trade room. Once again, I want to welcome you guys all aboard today. Thanks for being here. Just after the open, 9.30 Eastern time right now, we just finished our second trade of the morning, and I wanted to go over the reason why we took this trade first. Now, before we get started with this, I do want to remind you guys here that there is risk out there in these markets. Please remember that the reason why we're successful is because we have a trading plan. Our trading plan is what told us exactly what to do today and what not to do today, right? That's the test of a true trading plan. Can it tell me when to get into trade and when to do nothing at all? That, in my opinion, is the true test of a plan. So looking at this trading plan today, one of the things in this trading plan tells me is to look at the open high, low close. Let's go back to another workspace, which I've nicknamed my prep workspace. Now, folks, don't forget, we're taking profit at 94.35. Now, watch what happens here, folks. If this price goes to plus 40, I have plus 30 on the runner right now. If this goes to plus 40, watch what happens. I'm going to automatically move my stop right up. Watch. My stop will go to a plus 30, so my stop will go to 83 to 13. Watch my stop loss go right to 13. That's a plus 30 ticks. What's going to happen is, is once this thing goes, once that runner gets to a plus 40, I don't want to miss out on this runner. And this is something that everyone goes through, right? We all understand we want to keep that stop trailed. Well, in my personal opinion, there comes a point in everyone's trade where you're at the point where I don't want to miss this thing. I do not want to miss this runner. So what I've done is I've put together an automated trade management strategy that when my trade goes to a plus 40, then it automatically sucks up my stop so it locks in 30 ticks of profit. Now it's got to go to 40 first. The reason why you might be asking, Joe, why do I wait until it goes to 40 ticks in my direction? Because I don't want to tighten up that stop too early. I want to let this thing prove to me that these buyers on crude oil are really there. Let's watch. And once we finish watching here, once this thing, hopefully it makes this good example for us here, once it goes to plus 40, we got speed slowing down right now. Yeah, these buyers are still in charge here. There you go. There's 34 ticks up. It may not show it to me here. Come on, show us a good example here. Anyways, we're going to keep an eye on that. When it hits 40, it'll move that stop up automatically, and then every 10 ticks, it will move it up another 10 ticks. One of my biggest, one of my biggest obstacles for new traders is convincing them to leave that trailing stop alone. Give it some room to breathe. How many times have I choked out my stop? Watch it here, guys. Here you go. Look at that. There it is. See how my stop moved right up? So basically, in my previous years of being a trader, I would try to finesse this, and I'd try to move my stop down and make it look all purdy, but now I've learned my lesson. Now, if it stops me out at a plus 30, so be it. I'll wipe my tears away with the $550 US that I make on this trade. I'm anticipating now it's going to keep going, and now what I can do is I can actually either put my stop, my target at 35, which will be five ticks below this previous high of day. Or if I think this thing's going to keep going and I'm confident in this trail, could I also go to the next level? Yeah, why not? What's the next level overhead? 84.80. The next level overhead is 84.80. Now I'm going to be stopped out at 13s. 84.80 is the next level overhead. I can also see here that that trend line is probably going to be a little bit nasty. We drew a trend line from the high here to the high here. See that trend line right there? That may end up creating a little bit more resistance than we may be comfortable with. So as much as I would like to think this thing's going to keep going forever, I'm going to make an educated decision and put my target right below 42. Specifically, it'll be at 35. Five, six, seven ticks below that resistance overhead. Look at this. My stop is still here. Now, remember, once it goes to plus 50, it will move that stop up another 10 ticks and lock up that profit. What a great example here today. Now, we have this trade protected. I can't lose money on this trade. I can only make money. 
There's only two scenarios now. I'm either making a plus 5, plus 15, plus 30, a total of 45, I'm sorry, 55 ticks, or I get filled at 35 and I'll get the full runner on this thing. We'll go plus 5, plus 15, 83 to 35. What's that? Another another 15 plus 35, so 50 ticks. So we'll add another 20, you know, 18 to 20 ticks on this on this trade. Let me show you why we were so confident in this position, though. This is the best part about this trade, is this wasn't just a guess. This wasn't just a, let's give it a try. This was a trade that we saw an easy heads up at 6.30 this morning. And we've been talking about this today since we saw this. Now, what we saw this morning was a consistent, this is what we call the open high, low close analysis. There's a template for this, folks. There's a template in your advanced course. It's called the OHLC template. And we use this for a bunch of different things. Most specifically, we use it to look at the open, high, lows, and closes. And then, of course, at the same time, what's most important, are we making new lower lows? Are we breaking overnight highs and lows? And what did we say this morning? We said we definitely have broken overnight lows. In fact, we've done it twice. But then there's this suspicious clue here. What is that called? That's called a hammer pattern. What's a hammer pattern tell me? Well, in my humble opinion, a hammer pattern says the sellers tried, but then whoop, they failed, and the buyers came right back in. That candlestick gave us a huge clue. Then we broke a medium range swing high, another swing high. Meanwhile, what else did we see? We go over now, let's go back to a little bit faster time frame here. We go back over to our 21 range chart, and we can see we bounced off the low of the channel. At 6.30 this morning, we saw the biggest clue, the token print, the sellers had failed. By 9 o'clock this morning, we were breaking out of the open range. We knew we had to be careful because of the inventory number at 1030, so we did wait a little bit carefully for that first trade today. But as you can see, though, we finished up the day. We'll finish up this trade here. Got stopped out of my 13, and this is the stuff that I love. I have no problem at all taking this money out of the plus 30. If it keeps going, oh, boo-hoo, I'll be in it for the next one. When you look at this trade as it played out, though, this makes my day, 83 Four contracts long, I'll take two off at plus five, that locks up 10. One off at plus 15, that locks up 15 ticks. We got a plus 10, we got a plus 15, and then we manage the runner all the way up to 94.13. 83 to double zeros is what, 17? That's going to be 27, that's a plus 30 for the final target. 25, 55 ticks, that's 550 USD for one trade. Oh, and by the way, a lifetime membership of our trade room costs just about $4,000. That would be what? One-eighth of your membership. All we need is eight, day, eight trades like this. Something tells me you're going to be making back the money you've invested in your education pretty darn quick in this trade room. Excellent work, excellent trade. Great way to kickstart our day today. Summertime trading at its best. Nobody told me you can't trade summertime. That's for sure.